responding to a call during a stage collision which involved a vehicle carrying passengers and a train carrying hazardous chemicals, the response team has made efforts to save lives and property by putting their knowledge and experience to test. The response teams comprised of fire brigade, police, traffic control, ambulance services, the Marental Hospital, Motor Vehicle Fund, as well as assistance from Hartap Correctional Facility. The exercise also included local authorities from Aranos, Stamprit, Kojas, Kalkrand, Gibion and Maltea. Although the teams managed to respond to the emergency, they experienced challenges with resources such as insufficient ambulances, personnel and protective equipment. Communication and coordination within response teams and between leadership of respective response teams was identified as one of the areas which need immediate improvement. Our members of the public and even other experts should be careful when they approach scenes. That is the reason why we are having ribbons here, to keep people out from the scenes. Even some of us being senior officers are not allowed to enter the scenes. That is why you have your crime scene uh, management uh, expert, your detective on, on, on duty, and the, the emergency uh, uh, personnel that are evacuating people. Um, we are talking about hazardous material here. People can also get uh, infected and uh, get seriously ill and even lose their lives. So for that matter, we appeal to the public and all other experts. We are also taking note of some of our leaders. Some of our leaders, one vehicle I have observed, have, have crossed through the scene. The police officer, in fact, was not supposed to, to allow that vehicle to come through. Most of these, these hazardous materials also react violently with water. So that is why the observation this morning was once the, the fire teams arrived, uh, there was no immediate action taken with extinguishment because we had to, they had to wait for the incident commander uh, to come on scene so that they, can, they could have been uh, given instructions on what to happen. So then instructions was given that they need to extinguish, uh, go ahead, extinguish the fire using firefighting foam and the leakage. Uh, we had to then obviously uh, uh, ensure that we avoid any ignition of that uh, material that was leaking and we also used firefighting foam for that, for that purpose. So yes, there is much improvement, uh, room for improvement in terms of that. It will come out with the, 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 the report. Uh, this is a very, very, very good exercise. We, we hope it continues, not just from, from the ministry and the government side, but also from our, our side on the local level, so that we, as, as emergency responders, we keep on practicing, we keep on exercising. This is the only way that we can identify our shortcomings and then try to overcome it, so that if, if something like this happens uh, in real, real life, that we are able to respond accordingly. After the simulation, stakeholders recommended that the local authorities in Artap continue holding more simulations. More refresher courses for first responders is also highly recommended. There was also a need for local authorities to revive the emergency response committees, inclusive of community members and continuous engagement with all relevant stakeholders to improve disaster and risk management plan and implementation strategy. As the chairperson of the local authority disaster risk management committee, uh, um, the way forward from now on is uh, I'm new to this thing and as I'm new to this thing the committee has been existing but it was dormant all along. So we are currently in the process to revive and revamp the whole um, committee disaster risk management committee because the current committee that is available is on the regional level and it's only focusing on the flood area we, because we are currently in the flood zone of Marital. So the, the and it is not addressing the needs of the locals and um, locals of Marine Town and the local disaster risk management committee of Marine Town. So we are currently in the process of revamping the whole committee structure and the whole committee and to speak to the needs of the current uh, local authority disaster risk management committee. The most challenge is the, the, the slowness of these uh, team members, but the coordination, they were all there. We have seen the um, colleagues from the uh, correctional services, surprising they also came with their ambulances. Uh, the, the, the hospital, when we brought the victims to the hospital, uh, the, the nurse, they were also very friendly and they were trying their best, although we identified that there was only one nurse on duty and, the, 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 and one doctor. So uh, as much as um, there are some challenges, there are, we have also seen uh, some positive 
positivity within the whole emergency responders in terms of coordination and assisting each other at the end of the exercise.